companion plants can be good for helping to um, increase the yield of another plant or also to help deter pests. I'm going to go over my top five and explain why. So the first of my top five would be um, beans and peas. So as you can see here, I'm showing you my tomato plant and down inside here I have some pea plants that are growing and they are the climbing variety. So beans and peas actually have the ability to fix nitrogen in the soil and then in addition to that once they are dead and gone their remains so for example their roots and their plant tops their leaves and all that will um, if you just work them back into the soil they'll actually provide good fertilizer good nitrogen source to the plants um, next to them so certain types of plants do require extra nitrogen in order to grow successfully and these plants include your green varieties such as um, Swiss chard, kale, lettuce, spinach. Um, those types of plants you're actually going to be consuming like the green parts and as you know nitrogen actually um, contributes to the, gro the green growth of the plant and so um, top plants that I recommend companion planting for beans and peas would be like those those varieties. So my second most favorite um, companion plant would be those of the alliums family. Now the alliums family is a special family of plants which include onions, gr uh, garlic, leeks, shallots, chives, and others. And um, these types of plants are great because they repel or distract many pests including rabbits, cabbage worms, and maggots, aphids, Japanese beetles. So because they um, are really good at deterring those types of pests. They're particularly compatible with brassicas. Um, brassicas include, you know, all members of the cabbage family, for example, um, kale, broccoli, cauliflower, um, bok choy, cabbage, obviously. So, in addition to that, you know, they're very they are very limited in the amount of space they take up, so you can definitely double down your space by adding these um, these onions to some some of the pots in your container garden, in your patio garden. So they're also compatible with tomatoes, um, carrots, and celery. And here I have them planted with um, some peppers. So the third companion plant that gets me very excited is marigolds. Now marigolds are known as the wonder drug of companion planting world and um, French marigolds in particular produce a pesticide chemical from their roots which lasts for years after the plant is gone and um, they're effective against nematodes, beetles, leafhoppers, cucumbers, and squash bugs. So um, you'd want to companion plant these again with brassicas and also with cucurbits. And cucurbits would be your cucumbers and your squash and your melons, um, basically that family of vegetables. Uh, here you see I have some marigolds started from another video that I showed you with my vertical planter. I just have them started in the top and what I like to do is just kind of start these in areas where I have a small amount of space to seed start and then move them to sections of the garden um, even just in like dollar store planters sometimes I just put them in like a small dollar store planter and just move them around the garden to help you know keep the pests at bay so this is my uh, one of my secret weapons in the patio garden Okay, number four on my top five companion plants would be herbs, such as basil and rosemary and thyme and sage. Um, these, although I don't show them here as a companion plant, I have it in one of my um, special vert vertical garden planters that I built. Um, this, these are actually said to enhance the flavor of tomatoes and to help repel hornworms, mosquitoes, and flies. So for that reason, um, these varieties of of herbs like basil, rosemary, and thyme, as I said, I do recommend planting them at the base of your tomato plants. And then um, that also helps maximize the space again because you get a, a few extra spots where you've got those herbs growing. But in addition, it'll help the, it'll help the mother plant or the, the normal container plant that it's growing with. 
So number five on my top five companion plants list would be radishes. Um, so for radishes, there are two reasons why I like to companion plant them. Um, number one, I like to plant them with plants that are going to grow tall or are slow growing varieties. The point that I'm trying to make here is that, you know, for example, I have this radish, these radishes planted with um, an eggplant. And eggplants tend to grow very slowly in the beginning of the season, especially like in the spring months when when the season is cool because um, eggplants require a lot of heat to grow and they begin to grow very quickly when they get when it, when the weather gets hot but in the f in the first few weeks or month or so they're very slow growing and so I like to plant radishes with them so the radishes can they, since they're very fast growing you can get a harvest in before the before the eggplant actually gets to grow big so um, in addition to that, the eggplant does grow tall and it doesn't have a lot of leaves down by its base to shade the soil that it's growing in. So that's another reason um, that sh uh, radishes work really well with this type of plant is you can get added harvests per space if you want to you know, think of it that way. So, um, right, so I like to plant radishes with varieties like um, slow growing eggplant are actually they're really what work well with peppers which are the same circumstance you know slow growing in the beginning of the season and then fast growing in the summer heat and not a lot of leaves to shade the soil that it surrounds it um, they're also said to be good for squash plants so they prevent infestation of squash borers uh, radishes are said to help prevent squash borers which um, are basically like these bugs that will attack the vines of your squash plant and um, they'll bore into the vine and basically nest there and kill the squash plant. So so last year, I don't have an example today, but last year I did a lot of um, plant companion planting of radishes with, with squash plants and I in fact had no squash borers. So, I'd like to think that I can contribute, I can attribute that success to the, the radish companion plants. So that would be it for my top five companion plants video. And um, please like and subscribe if you'd like more tips on um, patio garden, urban patio gardening, successful patio gardening. Um, I have got quite a bit of experience and a lot of information to share so you can stay tuned for more. Thank you.